to review the dry fire online dry range simulator um, unlike the other ones where I reach out try it out or buy it try it out and uh, give a review to you guys about it this one came out and reached out to me and, and uh, allowed me to try out their simulator to, for a review and to give you guys a discount code for a for, for basically a month of um, free trial uh, normally they have a week trial uh, for you to try out but the, there's a code Joe M that you can use that will give you a month trial so you can be able to use this and see if you know it's something you wanna uh, subscribe to they have a couple of different subscriptions that you could uh, buy it's a monthly uh, pay subscription but if you're gonna if you are the type that will use this a lot to practice and you can practice it at any time and pretty much anywhere then this might be a also another good option for your dry range um, one of the things that does it is a browser based so you can actually just use it on your computer pick your computer up to your uh, TV a projector and use it and with your phone and the app you can use that as well for your laser camera to be able to um, practice your dry range so some of the stuff that they have here um, when you initially sign in you know they allow you to create your own stages and um, so you can create certain things like classifiers or different you know uh, use you know something you practice out on the range if you're a competition shooter um, got some still challenge some IDPA USPSA um, just shooting some tins a 5x5 five five drill uh, falling plate racks dot torture and another 5.5 five from the quick start which I'll show you that later uh, but I copied over here just so I can modify it um, as I wish and plus there's other slots that you can about 20 slots that you can start and create uh, for your own making. They also have a quick start section here, which is it's pretty nice if you just want to get, you know, they have some very nice complicated stages already designed um, for you to use. Some of the things that you would have to input and measure out is, of course, your screen diagonal length or size, which our project the projector is. 63 inches, the screen distance from the camera to the screen, which in my case it was 6.17 feet. And all this really does matter, especially when for the calibration of the camera when you hook it all up. So all these, these measurements do matter to help with the calibration. <clears throat> and of course your eye height viewpoint and then uh, you tell it, say, I'm going to use the dry fire um, camera app. So here you can select your hit marker as uh, small crosshairs, if you like the crosshairs, large crosshairs, or circles, small, medium, large. And the shift point of impact is handy for when you are practicing, when you first run the stage and you notice it's an inch off to the right, then you come in here and go, okay. Um, move it one inch over just to zero it out so when you when where the laser hits is exactly where you expect it to be to hit it's going to mark it exactly where you're at so you're able to calibrate uh, the point of impact and then there are uh, scenarios here they're, they're quick start stages they have a huge number of stages that you can do for generic s scenarios of different um, pistol drills and they also have some uh, you know, USPSA, some just uh, Steel Challenge, uh, GSSF, GSSF stages, you want to practice that. Uh, Steel Challenge, as you can see they have their recommendations here, 65 plus screen recommended. Steel Challenge, 65 plus screen recommended, and, and it does spread it out. So if you have a very huge screen, or even two projectors, and, and some of this stuff will come in handy like the... Uh, especially for the steel challenge because even something like smoke and hope that one will only show about three of the five targets so 
unless you have like, two projector screens, uh, you're not going to be able to see all the targets unless you save it to your own uh, stage and then move the targets back a bit. And some of these you might have to modify as well if you're trying to go for the actual distance of a target. Um, like uh, like the 5x5, five five, it's 5 yards, So, but they put up 5 yards on the, from the screen back. So you would actually have to um, put it to your stage, and then if your projector to, your, to you is about 3 yards, then you have to move it 2 yards on the screen. Um, so it would actually be 5 yards instead of you know looking like it's 8 yards away. Um, they have a number of USPSA classifiers, as well as uh, miscellaneous screen calculations, and so forth. So um, there's a lot of there's a lot of options here for you to just run for what they have and practice. Uh, the audio um, will allow you to do gunshot or beep and gunshot when it starts up, and um, Right now, let's go through a few of the stages just to see what it's about. So for the dry fire online demo, we will be using the CERT pistol, a uh, two cool fire trainers, one in a SIG P320 and one in a 1911. Um, as shown, this one doesn't work, and sometimes this does. Um, so the cool fire trainers are... are or hit or miss uh, in this case, but uh, it's kind of sad. And then we're going to be using a laser light barrel insert on the uh, Beretta 92. go over their little uh, stage builder when I found out it was web based I was just a little bit leery I'm, I'm used to doing stuff on PCs and sometimes web is very limited but it's actually a very impressive web based um, stage builder uh, so you know when you first start it up you can it comes up with the default target and you just practice on that uh, when you click on details you have a huge number of different targets that you can do, some uh, drills, 5x5 five five drill, index drill, uh, steel plates, USPSA steel plates, IPSC targets, IDPA targets, USPSA targets, uh, Bianchi targets, 
you know, you could do just a stand, some plate racks. You can, you know, if you want to do some IDPA scenarios, you can do some car, put some cars here and there. You can also do some uh, glass bottles uh, out there to shoot. Now, they don't explode when, when you hit them. You can just tell them to disappear, but um, it, it's still pretty cool. Um, add some trees here and there and some bushes if you want them to do some background. Um, hide some target uh, covered by, partially covered by some sort of background. Um, there is a huge number of targets that that's available for you to do your design. Use PSA Sheriff. Do a regular use PSA target. Waypoints, waypoints. Um, here you'll be able to adjust the target uh, distance and if it's tilted sideways or whatnot. If it's present or not, uh, it pops in and out. Uh, if you do a moving, then it starts doing waypoints, which you can tell to which way you want to move and how far and and so forth. Of course, when you hit it, then it can either just stop moving or it can disappear. Um, I mean, and then you can also just end up adding more targets as you wish, just move them about. Move around, and as, as soon as you move the move it over, there you go. You can see the detail shifted. And you can have them snap to grid, or move it closer, and you can also at the stage. You can change the backgrounds if you want to do something pretty. Um, if you want to do a regular firing range, or uh, there's a good number of uh, backgrounds that you can do, or you could just have plain solid colors if you want. Do your preparation time, uh, target exposure time, so that target exposure time will be the entire stage. So the whole stage will run for 10 seconds, and even if you shot two in each of those and it was in three seconds you'll still keep going until ten seconds is up um, it doesn't sound like oh wait you know like other ones will stop when the last targets hit um, that's not one of the options on this so but it will track for every number of shots in the time so at least you could see your last shot and your last time while you're waiting for the rest of the time didn't shut up um, I did. I, I did mention that to them. Um, some of the other apps, a lot of the other competition apps. If you're using it for competition, you'll have a set number of targets, and soon, and you're able to put in like I want two for this target, best two of this one, best two of that one, and this would be a uh, one shot. And when this is when this is the last target hit, then it stops, or when all the requirements of all three targets have been engaged then the, the it'll stop this one all the stages will keep going for X amount of time um, as soon as and, and you just have to wait until the time's up and then I'll give you a, a brief summary of, of your shots audio um, you can have gunshots if you want the background noises you know, you also could do the whole prep for matches, you know, uh, shoot ready, are you ready, stand by, the start beep, and if you want the whole uh, unload and show clear, basically everything you will hear at actual match is available right there. Alright, and here then uh, once you're done you can save it and you can uh, type in what it, the name so you can look at it and then you can see uh, Second description for you know, two PSA cards and one steel plate. And then you can select your slot that you want to save it in, or you can write over an existing one or or put in another slot number if you don't want the next one. Just click save. And now you have now you're able to 
uh, preview or run through the stage. If I had to rate this between a 1 and a 5, I would give it a 4. Um, mostly, I mean, on the plus side, it, uh, it is portable. Um, all you need is a web browser, a projector, or a TV for web browser to be on, and uh, your phone and an app on the phone to be able to sync up. And of course, you got to have something to hold the phone up. But um, it is pretty portable in that manner. Um, I also like that you can build stages on there, and they do have a number of quick start stages and miscellaneous drills for USPSA, IDPA. Um, some of your regular standard pistol drills, GSSF, um, Steel Challenge, they have quite a number of stages on, already set up for you on the Quick Start to play with. I do like that and I have, um, while playing with this, I have uh, sent them things that like, hey, you know, can we do this, you know, or would it be nice if they had this or, or can, we, can you do this or this. And they have been very, the support has been very responsive and very open to suggestions. Um, I do like that about them. Uh, some of the things I don't like about them, which is why they, you know, I'm giving them a four out of five, is just uh, some of the things I've already sent to them. Like the, uh, it would be nice if on, on some of the targets, if you can set it like, oh, this is my end one, or this is my stop target, stop the time right there. That would that would be a nice option. That's some of the things I've been able to do on other simulators, uh, but this one there is no ability to set a stop target. The summary, the end summary, flashes too quickly. Um, so if you have to screenshot it or, or something to get your stages or your times, if you want your last time, real quick. Um, and of course, that wait time. You know, since there is no stop target, you have to set a, a number of seconds for that stage and do it within that time but if you finish halfway through then you just gotta wait for it to roll over um, and I also don't like the that uh, you can't there's no archive of your past scores so you can't see how you did before and to see if you're progressively getting better that it's tracking you'd have to track it yourself if you could capture that screen real quick um, of course some of the things that they can't um, that they can't fix is that I live out in the country so my internet sometimes acts up and uh, it hasn't worked. There was one morning where I wasn't able to practice with it because uh, my internet was down and it was shaky here and there and it connect and disconnect and then just stay disconnected and, and I wasn't able to use it. Um, the other thing I don't like is that uh, it doesn't work on all the cool fire trainers. Uh, it did work with the 1911, but it also, but it didn't work with the the one that I had for the Sig P or 320, um, and that one's a hit or miss. But it's not a deal breaker since I also have other trainers. But I do use the cool fire a lot um, for a lot of my practice. Overall. Yeah, this would be something that I will be throwing into the mix of my regular morning trainings on simulators between the other ones and this one. I, you know, just be, uh, you always got to have some extra stuff to rotate through so you don't get bored with the, the same stuff or get used to the same stuff. You get to mix it up some. And this would be one I would use to um, practice it with on a regular basis. So this is my review of the Dry Fire Online training. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the uh, coupon code for uh, Joe M, which is also posted in the description. That will give you a month free trial uh, compared to a regular week trial. If you use the coupon code Joe M, then you could get a month free of trying it. Yeah, thanks for watching.